Here, we are setting up view with view router. We start by importing view and the view router, as well as our app component and the components for our home and about pages. Notice the structure, which cleanly organizes our views into components. With view use, router, we're telling view to utilize the view router plugin. This step is crucial as it hooks up all of the router's features with view. Next, we initialize a new instance of router. We're setting the mode to history which allows for clean URLs without the hash symbol. Then, we define our roots as an array of objects. Each object contains a path and the component to render. Finally, we create a new view instance, passing in our router and app component. The dollar mount, hashtag app, function call tells view to render the app component within the HTML element with the id of app. In our app views less than template greater than, we have a div with the id app. Inside, there's a less than transition greater than element wrapping our less than router view greater than. The less than transition greater than element is what view uses to apply animations. Here, it's given a name fade and a mode of out in. In the less than style greater than section, we define the CSS for our fade transition. Fade enter active and fade leave active classes apply a half second opacity transition. The fade enter and fade leave to classes set the initial and final opacities for the entering and leaving elements, making them fully transparent.